What up, what up, Shadow Pit? How you doing, Samantha? Samantha Lynn, what's up? Big Goyo Gustero. Big Machete, what's up, my boy? OC714 Nefarious. That's right, Goyo, that's right. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What's up, Milan? Shout out to Texas. What's up, Robert? Mo Money. What's up, Big Dancing Bear? I see you, boy. Funny Money, OC714. Yeah, man, it's been a minute, man, but uh, I'm back. You know how it is, man. Every time, uh, I mean, every, every now and then, uh, something uh, outside of YouTube, man, pulls us away for a minute. You know, there is a, a life out here. You know what I mean? Whether it's something, family, issues around the house, something, somebody's sick. But it's all good, man. That's right, Gustavo. I appreciate that, man. Trying, bro. Trying, bro. I feel you box some dudes got to be on YouTube all day because they, they live up. Man, bro, YouTube is, is the best thing that ever happened to some of these cats, bro. You know, but, hey, it is what it is, man. Anthony GA31, what's up, man? You ever been to the city nights? Oh, hell yeah, man. Damn near shut that place down. City nights in Frisco? Yeah, man. Bro, I stay away from everybody. I don't know nothing about nobody. I don't know what's going on. And I like it like that. Drama free right here. I don't know who's doing what, who's fucking with who, who uh, doing some funny bunny stuff. I don't know nothing, man. I live in my bubble, straight up. I don't answer my phone. I don't like nobody, man. Straight up. I hate everybody. <laughs> What's up, uh, Jesus Diaz? No, nah, but you guys you guys know what I mean. Some of you know what I mean. I keep it like that by design, man. It's not that people don't fuck with me. I, I don't fuck with people. Anyone asking about other channels? <laughs> Shadow Pit, man, got you got you got your foot on her neck like that, boy. Just Sandman, yeah, Sandman's about the only one I tolerate, man. Sandman's all right, he all right. Yeah, man, uh, we we keep it drama, drama free. No reactions, no, no, none of that. Who the hell am I to pass judgment on the next man? Come on now. Simon que si carna. Yes, sir. Gray Bullet, how you doing? Yeah, it's funny, but you know what I mean. Two weeks of COVID, not good for a six. <laughs> Cold piece of work, homeboy. 60? No, man, I ain't I ain't quite there yet. I will be 53 on the 25th of this month, though. That's a fact. Oh, we're going to have to do it all the way live, too, man. We're going to have to throw some kind of bash, man. Uh, get the channel shut down. We have, we're going to have to do all this shit. Did I watch him on American Cholo? I watched some snippets. That was it. And it wasn't even through the channel. It was uh it was just like what do you call them? I don't know, like some shorts or some blogs or yeah. What's up, Jason? Hell yeah, what's up, boy? 
How you been, homie? That's right, bro. Orange Supreme, what, what it is, say box. Has your section also been experiencing major rain here in the SFV? It seems like the sun and the heat have been on vacation. Bro, I know. I was just I was just out in Rialto uh, a couple days ago. It was uh storming out there, man. You didn't see me splashing around in the puddles, in those shorts. Got a new government, got a new job. Oh, that's what's up, uh, Jason. Congrats, homie. I'm uh, I'm happy for you, brother. That's what's up, Genetech. I know you're gonna make the best of it, man. That's what's up, Anthony G831. Was gold toes from 24. Yes, he was. Boxy you heard from those three gentlemen from from the Takaria. <laughs> Have I heard from them? Nah. Nope. I haven't seen those those cats. What's up, Chapo? Pancho Zapata, Pancho 666. Salute right back at you. W W Road Mush Respects Box. What's up with that? I know, man. I got you, man. I'm gonna go ahead and get that out the way because it's starting to bother me that you've been real consistent, persistent asking about that, man, and I haven't come through. So give me a give me a week or two, man. Bat Marquez is on the he's on the uh docket, bro. Uh, I appreciate that, Samantha. Those first two episodes of the uh, Hip Hop Hot Seat. They'll get better. They'll get better. Let me let me uh, let me get my rhythm going on, on all that hip hop stuff on on the the rap beefs and all that. That's about the closest to reactions that you'll you'll get from me, and those are from people I don't know. So. And it's not it's not even really reactions. It's, it's uh it's just about the latest happenings, what's what's going on with them. So I'm not passing judgment on nobody. I, I don't do that. Not gonna not gonna do that. What up, B East Fresno tapping in? How you been, my boy? Man, I've been cool, bro. You know, just trying to trying to stay alive, man. COVID tried to take me out. Or actually, uh, pneumonia. But I've been good, man. Shout out to Fresno, man. And happy St. Patty's Day to everybody that cares about St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> to all you, you Irish lads out there, man. Uh, and shout out to Riverside, man. What's up, uh? I don't want to destroy your name. George, Jorge, George, 650-951. Right back at you, my boy. <laughs> Again, thank you, Samantha. Jose Castellanos, what's up, man? What music do you listen to? You didn't catch them shorts? I'm an old school cat kind of cat, bro. Oldies, uh, old school, love jams oldies mostly oldies man um i listen to a little bit of rap but it's really not a, a bit i'm not a big rap guy man i'd rather listen to my oldies and just zone out now this one gonna be a quick one too you guys i tried to i just really wanted to come on here and make an announcement that I'm going to go ahead and run that raffle. Um, either tomorrow or Sunday. More than like, nah, I haven't done it yet, Rome. Um, I tried to run it the other day, and uh, YouTube wasn't sending out no notifications. So I had to push it back a couple more days. So what I found out is, I guess YouTube only sends out so many notifications per day per channel and 
once you reach that limit, you go dark. Anything that you put out there, that you don't get no notifications. So I sent out a bunch of a bunch of uh, shorts that that morning. Used them all up. I kind of figured that out afterwards. So anyway, I'm gonna run that live uh, the raffle either tomorrow or Sunday. What are the prizes? <laughs> the prizes. Well, I'm the the. The Jordan Retro 3s, for one, the Cardinal Reds, that's the main one. Um, and then there's some 49er memorabilia, and then there's some uh, some shirts, some Nipsey Hustle shirts. And that's about it right there, unless I can find something else around here that isn't nailed down. Five dollars a ticket? No, it's only three. Only three dollars a ticket. Unlimited tickets. So for those of you that haven't got in, go ahead and get in where you fit in, man. The 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 raffle is open up until that wheel spins. Until it starts spinning. Were those your cats? <laughs> More money. You seen that? That short. Were those cats who were attacking that cat? Nah, man, those weren't my cats. There ain't no way in hell them things would have been acting like that in my house, man. Cats, I'm not, I'm not too big of a cat guy, man. But um, I like animals, man. But them things right there was off the hook, man. You have women comfort. Tees available and merch. Yeah, yes, I do, uh, Samantha. That's you know, that's another thing. I'm glad you mentioned merch. So we're gonna be redesigning um the merch that that we have up right now, too. So the merch that's available right now, it's mainly all the all the stuff that you can get, the um phone cases, cups, beanies, women's uh Pants, shirts, sweatshirts, t-shirts, white beaters, all that stuff. But, you know, a lot of them are, are a little bit older. They got quotes on them from like, uh, uh, you guys remember Pugnacious and all that stuff. But what we're going to what we're gonna do is uh, start putting out the, the Paradigm Media News, uh, the symbol, and start putting those on like sweatshirts and... Uh, it looked pretty cool, man. You guys will see when we redesign them. I'll let you guys know when we start when we showcase all that stuff. Oh yeah, I should hit him with the big pop, 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 pop. You think that might go more money? Oh my shoe. Before inflation, yeah, for real. Before inflation. We are in a recession right now. Next time you're in Rialto, you got to stop by. Oh, man, I didn't know you was out there, uh, uh, Shadow Pit. I would have came and hit you up, for real, for real. I was all through uh, Rialto. I was out there in Fullerton, or, or uh, not Fullerton, Fontana, Ontario, Chino Hills. But yeah, uh, definitely a shadow pit slide through and uh, drink a cold one or something, man. I'll be back. I'll be back out there um, soon. Very soon. Yeah, they're on there, uh, Samantha, the, the phone cases, they're on there. Uh, if you go on to the channel and you go into the store, all that stuff should pop up. But like I said, there's some there's some cool stuff, some all right stuff on there right now. But um, 
when we redesign the the merch it, there's going to be a lot better stuff on there what's good b been a while need to catch up on all your new content while on the road trucking gracias that's right uh straight trucking for sure homie yeah man it's been it's been a long while you know that's that's uh it's a trip man uh straight trucking that that uh that you popped in man it was the last couple days i've been tripping you guys ever ever think about getting into uh get into like uh investing in a, in a small business like uh like trucking something that i've been looking into um and all it takes is is, is around twenty thousand dollars man to 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 start to run a small a small company a small business with one truck start with one truck and then you flip that buy another truck and you flip that with with the money that you're making it's it's an easy process man the way that that it was broken down to me or the way that i i learned is is uh i'm not gonna bore you guys with it too much i'm just gonna tell you that you got 20 grand you get a you go and buy an escort and uh um it's like 1500 1500 bucks and then you take 10 10 grand and you invest in like a, a freight liner or a volvo truck and uh You go down well you gotta you're gonna have to go down and drop like 10 grand 10 grand on a truck like on a 2016 2017 18 um drop 10 grand if you got good credit your monthly payments will be around two under two grand it should be under two grand and then uh same thing you're gonna have to drop around five grand on a trailer i would go with a a, a trailer with a reefer on it and um there's a there's a lot of little other things in between that you got to do man but you know you get your escort you get you get a driver you get your truck your trailer and then um there's 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 lists where you you can go and um find you know loads companies that that want you to deliver their loads and you can bid on bid on them you know what i mean you got a good driver there's a you know it's a good it's a good investment though man if you got 20 grand laying around you know you can bring in around 10 to 15 grand a month for just one truck and if you stay disciplined and you you put that money aside you can take your, your next 10 grand and invest in another truck and keep on flipping it the same way you used to flip that other stuff you know what i'm talking about <laughs> and that's how you grow man before you know it you got five six trucks and each one of them is bringing in like you know whatever whatever the whatever it's looking like out there you know right now it's kind of it's kind of slow but that's a that's also a um it's a good market to get into because trucking is never going to go out They're, they always need drivers they always need people that they always need people that are going to deliver what's up ebk what's good homeboy you already know close your gang hey b i think i was in san fran upstairs in the gym with you in 1995 i think it was you yeah yeah there was me homeboy i was there in 1995 yeah it was homie sure was 1995 i was uh well, I wasn't fighting the case at that time. Yeah, I, I, I was there all through the 90s, though. Do you monitor your Instagram messages? Man, put me on the spot, homeboy. I know I don't I don't as much as I, I should, bro, straight up. And it's not that I ignore people. I just I get overwhelmed with uh, content. And a lot of times I... I uh, every couple days i'll check it man what makes you ask uh jose casianos because you got a message that's been sitting there for a little little bit of time man shout out to uh 805 southern cali 
you know what you know what's up man magic what do you think about oh man you know i got i got my thoughts on that but uh unfortunately if i start talking about that youtuber they'll ding me homie i mean literally they got a they had something that came out um in their guidelines that that talked specifically about that and about ukraine and some other stuff in that word right there probably just triggered something that's how uh hard they're pushing that that line right now alex and fresco 916 sakra definitely in la casa that's right man shout out to uh sakra you know what it what it is lucky loco box you down for an interview on my channel always only to support the support the lucky loco yeah bro yep i gotta reach out to uh what's his name too man um and and show him some love since he showed me some love on, on my channel uh the 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 co that um has a channel he hit me up the other day i was in uh i was in la though yeah i understand i haven't reached out but that's good info on, on the trucky business you know you know what you're talking about especially on setting up the escort i'll reach out yeah man for real people uh you know if you want to make money you can't be scared to invest money that's what a lot of people's hang up is. They're scared to take that risk, to take that chance. And I, I get it, man. 20 grand is really a not a not a lot, a lot of money. But right now, today, to some people, it is a lot of money. Yeah, Hector. So, you know, but I advise you guys, man, if some some of you got like 20 grand sitting around, look into it. Do your research you know set all your 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 ducks up ahead of time man look into uh finding a driver look into where you would park your your truck if you had one um look into trucks that are for sale right now how much they would cost you know you gotta your overhead is 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 real small too for uh something like that you gotta pay insurance for your trucks you gotta pay your gas you got to pay your driver and then you know every now and then you might have a flat tire or you know mechanical issues but other than that escort that actually uh um you know it it takes you off the hook for a lot of a lot of penalties that other big big companies um would be on the hook for you know as far as like accidents and liability and stuff like that because that kind of stuff can sink anybody you get a truck hundred thousand pound truck however much the things weigh slamming into somebody man you're gonna pay some you're gonna pay some ducats sub to sub to your channel all right lucky local i thought i was man uh what's the name of your channel <laughs> I really thought I was, man. A B. I buy a little slip sliver every paycheck. Wish I could buy some gold, a nice chain, maybe keep up the good work. I buy a little silver every paycheck. Yeah, that's 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 good. Uh, it's good stuff for uh, closure. That's that's a good way to invest. Not just invest your money, but to put your money away is to invest in like gold, silver, or uh, expensive jewelry. Expensive, well, not not all jewelry. You you got to be careful. Stay away from diamonds and all that if you don't know what you're doing. But like nice name brand watches, if you 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 know your stuff, um, that's a good place to put your money. nice name brand watches i mean you buy a watch a, a a real nice one for 100 grand now you know five years down the line it might end up being uh around 100 100 500 10 000. 
make 5,000 profit. Real estate has the best return on investment. I agree, homie, but I almost sunk, got sunk on real estate. I tried my hand at that and didn't know the ins and outs before I jumped in. I jumped in with both, with two feet. <laughs> and, um, you know, it, it it's the that investment or that return that you're talking about, that's what, what was appealing to me. Um, but I kind of bit off more than I can chew, man. I bought several properties at the same time and got stuck with the uh, with the rental fees and and then the the crew that I had that that, that went to hell. You know, it's just yeah. If you got a good crew and you know what you're doing and you can, especially if you got some investors, it's a good way to make money too, man. But Right now, the market's doing okay, too, as far as uh, houses, real estate. Matt 510, what's up, man? Mr. Maldo, AC, a bar. I see you, boy, Alex. I send mine right back at you. Dancing. Dancing the response to, to joy. The on-ramp the on the on lane is always mostly empty lane after you pass the, the jam of them getting on the fast lane is always the slowest everyone trying to hit what just happened right now was is that is that another conversation with somebody homeboy thinking about the fast lane and the on-ramp yeah that is true man the 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 fast lane is always the slow. You just need a professional who has a little bit of experience. It takes it takes a, a bit of tech. Yeah, and you know you got somebody that's got some of the inside, uh, the the trickery, man. No, that's always good. Everlasting base. I see a one S one. What's up, S one? You got some rentals in SF or the Bay Area? Nah, bro. Shoot. Those those uh rentals out there are skyrocketing right now. Size G, what's up, man? Nino Boys Papa. Chale. Cocaine is America's cup of coffee. I I I hear you, bro. Lucky Loco, man, I appreciate you, man, especially right now. It helps, bro. Just hit the like. I rewatched Lynch on Mad Dog episodes. Bangers, saludos from Watsonville. I appreciate you, homeboy. Straight up, man. Real estate investing is all about timing first and foremost, then comes everything else usually. That's what I'm into. Metals at this point are one of the best values. The VIG is high on bullion. Yeah, that's me right there. The bullion, homie. Yep. Gold, man. Gold is... Uh, Silver is kind of down right now, but gold is... Uh, it's always... Gold's always high, man. It, it doesn't never lose its value. Tony Marie Saludos. My college friend was, was renting that half garage in SF for <laughs> 1800 bucks a month. Nephew bought a 2017 Volvo six months ago looking for looking for a two truck. Looking for a two truck. I mean a trailer. You can get good trailers from Ryder. Used trailers, brand new ones. Ryder is a good place to get them. If y'all ain't peep, 
if y'all ain't peeped it out yet, go tap in with the uh, hip hop hot seat. Yeah, that's a uh, good looking out. That's one hip. So hip hop hot seat, like I said, I touched on it a minute ago. It's a new series, man. Um, that we're just we just rolled out, and um, you know, it's not gonna be nothing. It's it's basically gonna just be about the latest happening in in uh urban hip hop what's what's happening out there who's beefing what's going on uh with within the rap industry uh just a lot of the 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 local you know the not the local news but the news you know the the, the gossip and all that stuff with our spin on it you know what i mean that's basically what it is man um uh, the current stuff it's going to be current some of it might be uh in the in the form of profiles like these last two, the first two that that we ran on um, Young Thug and Gunna, um, and I might do a, a, a follow up on that because there's more to it than just the indictment. There's a, as you guys know, that stay up on that stuff. Um, there's a little bit of betrayal going on between those two, and then you got uh, um. <laughs> Bloodbath, uh, uh, I forgot her name already, man. OMD, OMD, Bloodbath. That's uh, that indictment right there. Um, but that's what it's gonna be about. Um, hip hop hot seat. It's gonna be about stuff like that. Uh, as it go, you know, as we go, we'll get better. So, so tap in and check it out. You know what I mean? We have a lot of different series that. We st we're still trying to unroll or we're still trying to roll out. Um, I'm doing, I wish I had some other writers, man, that, that, that could write because I'm trying to take it all in uh, myself. Sandman does the editing, but, you know, do profiles on the prisons, the state prisons, the federal prisons, the profiles on the gang stuff, the, the Q and A's, the hip hop, um hip-hop hot seat what's the other one uh you got curb talk <laughs> and then you got uh game uh game time so i got my hands full man but check out the those last two episodes that we rolled out hip-hop uh hot seat what's up for metal boxer will buy a truck with no brakes you are absolutely correct mo money i've driven a truck once or twice in my life with no brakes 2013 i thought i thought has to have a do the carb california missions i work for peter bill 2013 i thought has to have a do the carb california okay i think i understand what you're trying to say talking about the california emissions right m star media how you doing all gas, no brakes, man. You know what's you know what's up, uh S1. Mad Max. Wow, that's uh that's quite interesting. Mad Max and M Star Media. You guys popped in at the same time. That ain't no coincidence, huh? No, nah, hell no. How you guys doing though? <laughs> that's right uh capital b i love getting high to your content keep it up my nose can take can take okay hey shoot well i appreciate you uh checking out my content man alex give me a job give me a job jose gambino if you drive in reverse through the whole hood 
like Sonny on Bronx Tale, then you the man. Everlasting bass. Homeboy, check it out, man. Look. Listen, bro. What's up, Dan Wusky? I send mine right back at you, man. Higher learning. E-Vision TV, man. E-Vision TV got that heat, man. If you don't know, man, check out E-Vision's TV, man. Uh, I'm a supporter. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Send mine's right back at you, Dan Wesky. Big Jess, what's up? Salute, Lou Perez. Why didn't I get charged in the White Widow case? Well, well, Lou, uh, you snuck that. Did you sneak that in, or you, that was just a, a typo? Um, actually, I was a, a unindicted co-conspirator in Operation Black Widow, and you know I spoke about it before. Um, but when I got arrested in 2004, there was actually three agencies that had their, uh, I was under investigation. I was going to get snatched up by either um, the investigators from Operation Black Widow. I was like literally close and I'm glad it didn't happen because, well, things might've worked out different all the way around. I, I don't know, but so they were getting ready to snatch me up. And then there were, I had another case um, where I was out there in San Jose at one time I was pushing a big, uh, counterfeiting operation. So there was another crew of feds that were about to hit me. However, the, the, the agency that ended up hitting me basically told these other guys, Hey, look, we're, we're like 90% done with this case. We got them on a life case. It's a fucking, it's, it's a slam dunk um we're about to get him like within not just him but we're about to take him and his crew down um within a matter of weeks so they they stood down um that's basically what happened i i should have got snatched up in operation black widow so hope hopefully that answers your question uh big lou What's up, Brian Webb, 559 area. I see your boy. I appreciate you, 559, um, for the support, homie. Thank you. I got you, Lucky Loco. But didn't they warn you about it when you were in Ukiah? Yeah, they did. When I was in the county jail, they uh they came up to the county jail, um, Mad Max. I said it in the book. Um, you know, they try to play the the, the scare tactic role. Uh, try to make me uh, believe that I was in trouble and, and um, that, you know, I was going to get hit and all, all that bullshit. But, uh, you know, I, I didn't bite, man. Um, so I knew, I actually knew before then that they were on me. So I knew it was coming. Or that it was likely to happen, but what 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 could what can you really do? Especially when, especially when you know you let the fellas know, and you're hoping that the fellas will tell you, "Hey man, go ahead and crawl up under a rock. Just kick back. It's it's hot right now. Kick back. Shut everything down, and, and uh, just just." Pick up a lunch pail, whatever, just kick back. But that didn't happen. It was all about, hey, well, you know, tighten it up, and uh, but keep the money coming. Keep the money coming. So there was really nothing to do. Oh, Fish Slayer, I just barely scrolled up. Man, thank you, my brother. I appreciate you, man. Um, hey, tune in, tap in, uh, Fish Slayer, either uh, Saturday or Sunday. For the the raffle, um, I post something in the community tomorrow around in the afternoon, sometime around between twelve and three, and let you guys know 
if the raffle is going to be held tomorrow night or Sunday, but it would be one of the two, definitely. So make sure you tap in, uh, Fish Lair. But I sent mine right back at you, and I've been cool, man. You know, uh, COVID tried to take me out for a minute, but, man, I'm, I'm more better, more, more better now. I was telling these guys, man, uh, I've been avoiding COVID for uh, since it hit, man. Uh, it finally caught up to me, man. But uh, it wasn't it wasn't even the COVID that uh, the co the COVID is usually not what kills people, man. It's it's the it's the complications from from other illnesses that you might contract, like pneumonia. That's what a lot of people end up dying from is 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 uh pneumonia. That's all they ever say. Keep the money coming. Yeah. I predict the next metals peak will take the silver ounce somewhere between 100 and 150. Whew. An ounce, bro. If that would if that would happen. That would be lovely, man. Gold, I, I tend to agree with you. Those prices stay high, man. Louis Hernandez, who were the individuals that got Black Widow started? Shit, man. It, the Black Widow started really all the way back to uh, like when Darren Harden got killed from Santa Rosa. That's when it, it was just starting, man. George Collard was just an investigator out there in, in uh, Santa Rosa. And that murder and some other gang-related activities started an investigation that ended up leading to something else. And then it, were, and it expanded outside of Santa Rosa, and then it just snowballed. Boss, do you think the U.S. government is the biggest mafia in the world without a doubt? Without a doubt. Crooked too, man. <laughs> if you really if you really take the time to sit back and think about the, the way that things are structured, the way you're taxed, you buy a house, you buy a house, and you end up paying taxes on it forever and What's the purpose of government's crazy, man. And, and, and then it's the little guy that always ends up getting the bad, um, you know, the, the, the people at the top of the chain, they don't pay taxes. Millionaires barely pay any, any tax, seven to 800 bucks. When us little guys, man, uh, they kill us. That's right. I see you, Josh, man. Um, mine's right back at you. I see, <clears throat> you know, the last week, bro, I was uh, I was looking at something online, man, and a blog came up. And uh, I started seeing some of the new cutting agents that, that are out. Not just, not just fentanyl, but like the, some of the, um, you know the the crock and um uh what's the other one um trank and iso and uh sure enough man i was decided i was gonna run a video on it but i had seen that you had just ran one like four days earlier man i salute you for that bro you know because um the whole purpose for me doing the video was uh just just bring awareness to that because it's crazy bro it's crazy. I didn't watch your video, um, but I knew I'm I'm pretty confident that you touched on everything. Uh, you know, I've seen your content before, man. So I gave you props before without even seeing your video, basically. Um, but no, man, salute to you, bro. You know, that's a that was a good thing to bring awareness about because 
the, I don't I don't know if people are just not aware of it the, or the extent of it, but that's what's going on with those drugs, man. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. It's not even fun. Um, it's not even fun getting loaded no more. They're not using no standards when it comes to cutting that stuff. They'll put anything in there. Like I said in the uh, curb talk, at least in the eighties, it seemed like the the you know the drug suppliers were using some some level of standard as far as what they were putting in. Like, no, we're not gonna put this in there, man. This it's gonna kill people, or uh, you can't cut it with that. You know what I mean? You can't kill the consumer, but these cartels and um, the way these these guys are doing business. Nowadays, it's all about just turning a profit. They do not care, man. Straight up, they'll 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 cut God God with some some black shoe polish. You know what I mean? No, everything's got fatty in it. Fentanyl's everywhere. That shit's eating people's flesh. It causes ne necrosis and uh, rotting putrid flesh. Today is a day, today is day one. No tree for me, La Fella. I'm sipping vodka right now. Ah, that's right, enjoy it. Samantha, you're right. I deal with business owners that always say they're in a negative, their tax forms show negative. So I ask why I have a business if that's the case. The rich are the real crooks, yeah. Other than yourself and Brown Bob, were there any other NF and our members that lived in Campbell? Shit. Um none that none that I'm aware of. Um there might have been, but none that I I'm aware of. I appreciate that, bro. The sick thing is all drugs are going to be like that. It's all pharmaceutical and the the government really can't keep up. Yeah, you know that's the other thing that 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 I touched on in Curb Talk too is that uh, right now is it is an especially dangerous time, uh, Josh, because uh, first responders and um, you know the the hospitals and all that they're they're stuck in a gray area right now. There's no protocols and for what to do. So a lot of these guys that are ODing. They're these first responders, paramedics, they're thinking that it's opioids and they're hitting them with Narcan. And, you know, these drugs are not responsive to, to Narcan. So people are dying, man. You know what I mean? So it's a it's a real dangerous time right now because the the medical community, they don't have those protocols in place yet. So. And everything's cut with it, man. Everything. 559 five, area, man. I okay for the raffle. I got you. Um yes, sir. So, yeah, man, um, that's some good stuff, though. Poison, God, like, that's what it is, uh, Dave. It's, it's exactly what it is. It's poison. And every time, every time somebody goes to shoot that, ingest it, uh, you're playing Russian roulette with your life, man. You know, that I'm not, I'm not condoning drug use at all man but i'm just saying at least in the 80s in the early 90s you used to be able to go out and get some some heroin get some some whatever you were buying some coat now everything is laced with with uh it's cut with fentanyl or or these other drugs uh xylazine uh what's the other one uh that's um, what is it? Xylazine, desomorphine, and nitazine. 
ISO, ISO Croc and Trank. Oh, it's bad news, man. It's bad news. Yeah, and the addicts, you know, the I don't want to gross nobody out, man, but the addicts, the cool part about it is a lot of them they're they're becoming aware of of these drugs and, and the, the side effects that they're causing. But the power of addiction is it's so strong that at the end of the day, they still put that needle in their arm. You know what I mean? They still they still need to get well and it's it's stronger that urge is stronger than common sense or better judgment that's uh you know there, there's a uh, i was reading some stories on the, on it and you know the i want to say it's trank the one that causes necrosis man decaying flesh so like when when you inject it what happens is around the injection site it turns black like a black waxy scab and that don't never go away unless you pull it off. And then under that is dead flesh. It's like a plug of flesh, sometimes like an inch deep. Sometimes it goes all the way to the bone. And you go to the hospital, they'll pull that out. They'll pull it all out because it's gangrene. There's gangrene in there. And um, some of these guys, in order to avoid hitting fresh flesh, They'll go into dead flesh. They'll inject right into a, a, a dead. Yeah, it's crazy, man. But uh, yeah, hopefully people are are becoming aware of that, man, because it's 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 pretty it's pretty bad. If you're out there and you're using, it's time to quit, man. It's time to quit. Then it took all the fun out. What dude from Rosa? Uh, what are you talking about? The investigator? Are you talking about the the dude that got killed? The, the the guy that I'm talking about that got killed from Santa Rosa was uh, Darren Harden, Spanky. Same minds right back. Go Rich DM six fifty. Jr. I see ya, boy. McKenna man, the guy from Santa Rosa was it? Was he a Northern? Yes, yes, sir. He was a Northern. Yep. Juan Zaranda, you still hitting the gym bus? Um, yeah, but because I was sick, uh, it was like two, three weeks. That nah, bro, I didn't do nothing, homie. Nothing. Maybe ten years from now, we will find out the CIA night. The CIA. Imagine you, you meant to say they brought that stuff here, right? Well, yeah, it, it uh if if I remember right, it actually it was um uh, it originated in Germany, I think out there. Um and it made its way to the West Coast. Some of this stuff has been around for actually um for almost 10 years but it just never made its way to the West Coast. But now they're using xylazine to cut fentanyl and that's what's causing, that's that's the, the result is Trank. You see the, the, the new rap song, uh, it's that new rap song where they're talking about uh, perks. I took a, I took a 20, I took a, took a 30, took a, <laughs> see them cats in those videos where they're doing that lean that's that that's that trank lean m star media i appreciate you isaiah's g man thank you for the support both of you sancho via 209 i see a vince vince saldana a box we're flooding in cortical yeah i know man there's uh what's that other Little town over there by uh, Watsonville, Pajaro. It's bad over there, man. And that that community over there, they're mostly most of them are are uh, 
immigrants, Mexican American uh, immigrants. They're uh, farm workers, man. What's that, Samantha? You talking about mushrooms? Oh, man, you better stop. You know what? Honestly, mushrooms might be the only thing besides um, besides trees that ain't got fentanyl in. Before you know it, they'll start putting fentanyl in trees too, man. Geronimo Dilo. De Dilo de Cielos. Fentanyl is Russian roulette. That's exactly what it is. Had to stop by real quick. Big box. Saludos, bro. Too easy. Too easy for, man. I appreciate you, homeboy. Spider. Pill, man. Well, or Ortega. What up from Anchorage, Alaska? Man, take care of them seals out there, homeboy. Don't do it, man. Hey, I sent mine, man. Shout out to uh, Anchorage. Damn. Fresh out the box. If you had to do time again and active, how would you approach these new main lines? They seem faulty on many levels. Would you would you just find your way to the nah I wouldn't find if I was active, I wouldn't just find my way to the hole. That's a cop out. I'd uh I go out there and do what I do, bro. Do what I used to do. Um huh. Yeah, that's a that's a long conversation, man. There's a lot of there's a, where to start, man. But yeah, you know, I've never been one to just to get out the way, man. And, you know, go out there and have to deal with it, deal with the that that major mess that uh that was created. You know, when I when I put it in perspective, I think when I think about it. It's almost like uh, I had to deal with another, with a mess just like that, and that was the um, Smiley and Lobo from Salinas. Uh, after you know they they did everything that they did out there in Salinas. That's when I landed out there and had to. Uh, run a regiment out there man in in um talk about man uh, that was it was it was a mess man people people had a bad taste in their mouth nobody wanted to work people were looking at us sideways man um i don't know how many living rooms i sat in and brought people back yeah didn't Darren go by Smiley? Yes, sir. Yes, he did. DJ, JB, always as much. And respects, brother. Would you consider yourself conspiracy theorist? Nah. Nah, man. Um, nah, I just, I, I, you know, I look at everything, try to look at everything with the, uh, a, I don't know, from just, it's from my perspective, man, you know, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I am, man. Yeah, I got you fresh out the box. Um, yeah, that would that would probably be a. a that would probably be something that I might want to do, but what good would that do? Um, you know, the collective, if, uh, if I'm on a shelf somewhere, you know, so I get what you're saying, bro. That would, I would probably have to keep myself from doing that. Yeah, I seen uh, Jimmy G with the Raiders. 
Good luck. You can have him. Yeah. He's no longer um, our problem no more. <laughs> you know, but yeah. Hey, good luck to him, man. Why do the Raiders always do that, though? I mean, I ain't trying to start no, no chip, man. I'm just saying. Why they always take our leftovers, bro? bro? What's up with that? I mean, man. You guys really want... <laughs> How did I know that you was going to pop your little head out, man? Everlasting base. How did I know that, bro? No, man. We ain't trying to go there, bro. All right. I ain't going I ain't going to mess around with you right now. All, all I'm saying is good luck, homie. That's that's all. Gear changer. What's up, man? From Australia, man. Shout out to Australia. We got we got major love for our for our Aussie brothers out there, man. Anchorage is becoming a melting pot for a lot of out of state people. Yeah, I I heard that too. Um, you wouldn't think that too many people would head out to uh, Anchorage, Alaska, but I've been hearing the same thing. Wilson Jones. Great. Boxer, greetings. I've been watching your videos. Yeah, I appreciate you, Wilson Jones. Thank you, man. Saw movie on Guantanamo Bay. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Ruby at the Circle K. Yeah, Boxer got the Eskimos tapping in. Yeah, man, we got, hey, we love Alaska, man. Uh, yeah, man. No comment. I'm from Fresno. Been up here since 2011. Clean and sober since. Hey, man. Congrats to you. Kudos to you, man. It's an everyday struggle, brother. You know that. But, uh, man, I said that in one of the shorts that I released, uh, I think it was this morning, that there's no better high in this world than that feeling of of normalcy waking up in the morning without having to get loaded waking up um just normal that's the best form of of um the best type of euphoric high that you can get or there's only one other that comes close to it and that's obviously being clean but going into the gym and getting a good ass workout and then that feeling that you get right after you right after you jump out the shower. That's the best, man. Well, there's actually one more. <laughs> there's one more. That day that you parole, man. The day that you're an R and R and you're healthy, you're clean, you slip into them parole clothes, you stand in there, you, you, you know you're uh you're healthy, man, you, you're feeling good. Um and you're getting your freedom back. Those are probably the best feelings that I've ever felt. Those three right there. That runner's high. Character is one word you most definitely, most definitely. Bro, I always remember what you said about being an addict and going on vacation and having to make sure you have enough drugs. Someone I know just went through that. And this motherfucker flew over the nest. Yeah, that's 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 a uh, Oh, that's what you call being um locked into your own addiction, man. Oh. Um, can't go on vacation with your with your girl or your family unless you have enough dope for every day that you stay gone for four days, you got to have four days work. That's just, it's messed up, man. It's a messed up thing. Um, it's not fair to your, your girl. It's not fair to your family. That's just, and it's just no way to live, man. But 
I'm glad that resonated with you, man, because uh, that's, like I said, that's just part of being uh, locked up in your in your own addiction. You see that new mega prison in El Salvador? Yes, I did. They move them guys around in there, man. Like they don't mess around, man. You know what I mean? The 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 COs over there think you're gonna get a grievance. <laughs> you think you're gonna file a grievance over there? Or you gonna say something about them searching your cell too much? Or uh yeah, they just take you out back, give you a good old fashioned ass whooping. You see how they have them guys sitting? They have like a thousand of them sitting uh, ass to ass man or, or nuts to butts boxer did you do what's a mat uh samantha what is it i don't know what that is The feeling of relaxing next to your kid after a good workout and shower is top tier. You ain't lying. Yeah. Meditation assistance therapy. No. Um, I guess you know what? Um, maybe unconsciously, but uh it wasn't something that I was thinking about. But I used to meditate. Fox, I'm gonna do a story on losing. I'm losing my wife. When did that happen, bro? Yeah, man. Uh, hey, I, I hear you, Lucky Local. Um, of course, man. It's hard to talk about something like that without getting emotional. Um, Who cares what anybody thinks, man? You know, um, that pain is real, bro. I know, I know what you're talking about. You know, I had to um I had to deal with that same same kind of pain, man. Oh, five years ago. Okay, damn, bro. I'm sorry to hear that, homie. I thought it was something recent, but uh yeah, it's been five years and it's still a lump in your throat, huh? I know. You know, um, yeah. Yeah, it's 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 uh that'd be a good story though, man. It, it you know people tend to uh, gravitate more towards those kind of stories when they're when they're real. There's real emotions involved, you know, especially when you're talking about addiction and, and how she, you said she passed away. So, you know, that's it's beneficial for other people to hear that, man. So, I applaud you, bro. With his balls and got stomped out. I was stomping. It was ugly when I was a hundred. When I was I was eleven days to getting out the county jail. CO popped the door to a homie that left the gang. And there was six of us. He stepped out. Why did he do that, huh? With his balls and got stomped out. I was stomping. It was ugly. Went to a 184 yard with eight and a half, 82 points from Yukas. Yeah, Yukaya, man, Yukaya is, is is officially on the map now. Huh? Brick Rock. Sup, sup, uh, Jose Acosta. Everybody, go ahead and hit that like button. It's free. It don't cost nothing. Look out for the homeboy for always coming through. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. You know, I'm serious. Uh, if you don't hit that that like button, the algorithm is going to say, you know what? And even if you think it is, even if you think the content is garbage, that's exactly what the algorithm is going to say. These motherfuckers ain't hitting no like button, so this dude must be kicking some straight trash. Look, he had... Uh, like 100 some people in his live and uh he got like four likes <laughs> you know what i mean so 
Hey, man, just, just go ahead and hit that like button one time, man. All right, Rick Rock 707. Go charge up that phone, homeboy. Um, I appreciate you tapping in, bro. You have a good night. Keeping it 100. Keeping it 100. Is that who is that? Is that Dave? Is that you? Shoot, uh, uh, that's my first time hearing about that. Uh, if you heard that, I imagine there, there's probably some talk, some some truth. There might be some truth to it. I could see that them doing that. I think it sounds kind of. I think it sounds real lame, though, because there ain't no rehabilitation going on over there. They already lied, you know, when they added it on to. Uh, CDCR ain't nobody getting rehabilitated in San Quentin. Cosmic Dead, what's up? One prison guard came out with the story. I would tend to believe that he might, he's pretty credible. You know, I would think he'd be in the know about something like that. So if he said it, man, um, I put I put a little bit of uh, belief in it. The name change means nada. When they change from CDC to CDCR, and nothing changed. Yeah, it's it's all about it's politics, man. Politics and money. That's all it is. Box, bring the sober stories. They really help had basically arrived at Fresno State University. I'm down for knowledge, but like working my, my hands, too much alcohol, blurred thoughts. I got you, Isaiah. Yeah, man. Um, like I said, I'm glad those, you know, those, those things resonate with people. Bunch of lifers looking to get out of San Quentin, probably true. Yeah. Right now is their time to make a push too, because uh, you know, over the last twenty years, the state of California has been a lock them up, throw them, throw away the key state. They've they've really been hard on them. Uh, a lot of the crime bills, they softened up a little bit. The last couple, um, you know, when they when they changed, when they revised three strikes, but right now I think is the is the the best time. They they're taking a soft um, approach on the on the the death penalty, um, and people seem to be taking a um, a different approach on crime right now. In whole, you know. They want something different because it's not working. So I think right now is is probably the best time. And they've been releasing a lot of people. Do you know an individual in the NF by Killer Cali? <laughs> if you do, Killer Cali. Shh, I ain't never heard. No. This is this this is a new generation, though. You know. The brothers that I used to, that I ran around with, there wasn't too many with names like that. Killer Cali. Bow Fetty, what do you think about the Bulldogs not integrating and CDCR stopping the flow of their integration with Desi, with non -de I think I think they need to leave the Bulldogs alone, man. You know, give them their own yard. Stop playing games, man. Stop uh, uh, staging those 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 small wars that they keep uh, staging. You know, the, the Bulldogs don't want to program with nobody. They're not gonna program with with, with
with anybody. Um, give them their yard. You know, you're not going to force them to program. All, you, all they're going to do is they're going to keep getting off or they're going to keep, you know, they're going to get victimized out there, man. That's not cool. Throwing them on the non-designated yards, that's, they're, they're not dropouts. I don't think you can look at a bulldog and say that they're, they're dropouts and they fall within that criteria. They don't. They look at themselves as still being active. So, you know, a, a righteous bulldog is not going to be okay with going out to a yard and programming with, uh, instead of using any labels, I'll just say undesirables, man. You know, people that have a reason to be out on those yards, on those non-designated yards. You know, CDC can can designate prisons and send people there and, and, and let them do their time there without causing all that chaos. Did you have access to dope? Very often seems like you spent all your time locked away underneath the jail. Now, yeah, I pretty much did uh, 87 SIGs. It was far and few, far and few. Shoe programs, um, ad SIGs, I stayed locked up. Observation cells, that's how I've always done my time. You know, the dope usually comes in, it's it's out there on the main lines or, or you know, in areas where, where they have a lot more access to move around. Every once in a while, somebody would come in packing, but wasn't that often, man. Send mine's right back at you, Balfetti. Pill manual Ortega, my heart wanted change, but my mind was polluted. Therefore, I was unbalanced. I hear you, bro. Let me just say this. Sobriety is beautiful. Yeah, I hear you. It is, bro. Keep it at 100. Who is that? That ain't Dave, is it? Or... uh If you responded already, I missed it, man. Vato Loco Psycho Monstro. What's up, man? Whew. Guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut in a minute, man. I'm gonna cut in a minute. I wanted to just come through. Say my respects to you guys real quick, man. Uh touch base with, with you. It's been a minute, you know. I'm gonna start doing lives more often. Um, and again, like I said, the content, the content start flowing again. I mean, it's been coming out again these last couple of days. So inner demons, war stories, it's coming, it's coming. Um, I was going to start, I was going to run a couple tonight, but I was like, you know what, man, let me, let me just go ahead and hit them with the live real quick. Let them know what's up with this, um, this raffle it was the other night I'm telling you guys, I tried to run it and literally i popped in and nobody was nobody jumped on one person jumped on after like 10 minutes and i was like bro did you get a notification he was like nah man i was just by luck i just popped in and like i told you guys it's because youtube only gives you so many notifications a day and i had sent out like 10 shorts that morning so nobody knew i was even Trying to go live, man. Martin 9400, what's up, man? Another one that that uh I ain't seen in in a long time. So now I know. When I get ready to drop some content or or do a live, I'm not gonna use up all my notifications. Ruben Sanchez, man, I appreciate you, bro. Always good hearing from you. Can I have a blessed note? Likewise, man. Shout out to you guys, 707. Samantha, you have a good night. Um, take it easy on that vodka. It ain't it ain't Ciroc, though. Jai Sarah. Just now tapping in. 
I see a lot of new names, man. I appreciate you guys for tapping in. I hope you guys will continue to, to stick with us, man. Um, we got a lot of good stuff planned for this channel. I'm always trying to get better, man. I'm always trying to do things, um, create better things for the channel, keep you guys interested. So keep 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 fucking with us, man. Let's see if that gets me uh gets my 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 live uh flag. You can't even cuss no more. But uh yeah, man, you guys keep tapping in with us, man. Keep tapping in with us. You guys get all the credit for uh for helping us grow the way we've grown. Anyway. The monkey on the back is a mofo chasing the dragon. Um, just to give you guys a heads up, too, I've been working on my book. So that's another thing. Those of you that have been asking about it, I've also been uh, investing a little bit of time working on that. So let's see what happens. That's right, Alex. I appreciate it. Cosmic Dead, yo, even though you don't like my dad, I still respect what you. Who's your dad, uh, Cosmic Dead? What you doing? What you done to get? Who's your dad? Um, I don't know. Uh, takes a lot of energy, man, to uh, hold animosity towards people. So, oh, thank you, sweet baby Jesus. Here we go, man. The monster it. He's, so I drop you for. Yeah. You got the easy part down, man. Oh, you set it up here too, huh? Well, I think I might have something to say about that, but I'm not going to play with you, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to play with you. Uh, respectfully. Um, yeah, that's what I said, uh, uh, S1. That's exactly what I said. Um, yeah, uh, the monster JT. What I'm, what I'm supposed to be doing while you're doing all that? See, that's, that's, that sounds good, man. And I know you think you that guy, but I have something to say about that, man. You know what I'm saying? And even though I can't see you, don't know you, don't care to know you. I can already see what kind of character you are just by by what you're saying right now. You ain't you ain't about that, man. That's a that's a dream for you to do something like that. You wish you could do something like that, man. What up? What up, Sess? What up, Box? I unsubscribe from all them other channels. Shit, corny now, especially the lives spills are okay, but after that, I'm good. Yeah. I try to tell you, says I'm just saying though. I'm just saying. You know, it's no drama over here. You got motherfuckers talking about this. <laughs> Boy said I knock you out, man. Shit, man. I wish you was I wish you would try, boy. I really wish you would try. Now you wanna now you wanna talk. Do I know Rico from Castroville? No, nah, I don't, bro. But you have a good night, man. You have a, you have yourself a good night, Alex. Man, I appreciate it, Alex. I appreciate you, man. All right, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and tap, man. I'll be back. If not tomorrow, I will be back in Sunday for sure to run that live. We'll run it this week for sure, man. I know some of you guys have been waiting for weeks, man. Um, you know what I mean? So I'll make sure it gets done either tomorrow or Sunday. Steve Fernandez, are you going to continue to narrate books? Most definitely. Um, we've been dro drop dropping chapters these last couple days. We're going to continue to do that most definitely. I know that there's some of you that like, uh, what's the book? What is it? Go ahead and tell me real quick. Steve, what is it? I'll write it down, man. I'm always looking for suggestions, so it's all good. Hey, likewise, uh, Isaiah's G, 
Stay up, senor boxer. That's right, Joaquin Stanislaus. Quali Wali. That's right. Hit him with the Quali Wali. I like your content style, bro. Keep it coming. I work with the program in SF that reaches those incarcerated. Yeah, man. You, you had to get at me uh, on my uh, Instagram. Um. Okay, J, uh, Monster JT, I'm going to do that. I'll drop some more CHP stories. Yeah. I don't want to get knocked out, though. Oh. Can't kill the... Can't kill the spirit by can't kill the spirit by Rudy Gonzalez. Got you, bro. I will definitely I'm gonna Google it right now and um on Amazon and I'll pull it. You know, all you guys gotta do is uh Say something, especially if I believe it's a, it'll be of a common interest to uh, the majority. I'm all for it, bro. Hey, you guys have a good night. Like I said, man, either tomorrow or Sunday, I'll run the live, the uh, the raffle. Look in the community tomorrow, somewhere around three o'clock. There should be a notification that will tell you one way or the other if it's gonna happen tomorrow night, Saturday, or Sunday. All right. All right, you guys, man. You guys have a good night. Be safe, man. It's Friday. And uh, again, for those of you that care, happy St. Pat Patty's Day. For those of you that don't, I understand. And you guys have a good night, man. I'm out.